How's it going everybody? Mr. Waffle here and today I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on uh, liquid UU matter and how to replicate items using the UU matter. Um, it's very simple, uh, Just you're just going to need a replicator, a pattern storage, and a scanner and the matter fabricator, which I'll show you first. So pretty much the matter fabricator, uh, expensive to build and kind of confusing to use if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, first what you're going to want to do is you want to pump as much power, as much power as you can, into this matter fabricator. It cannot exceed 512 energy units per tick. If you pump, if you try to pump 1,000 or 2,000 into it, it'll explode and destroy a large area of the stuff that you have built, hence why I have it in this large uh, reinforced structure. Uh, I'm also amplifying it to produce UU matter faster using scrap. Right now it is nighttime, so if I set it to day, I'll show you how fast it'll go. So yeah, once it's day, I have solar panels uh, powering this, same with the nuclear reactor, and this thing will just move along very fast. So I'm using an igneous extruder to make cobblestone, recycle it, and then make scrap. Scrap will go down the line and amplify it down here by 5,000 or more, depending on how many is stacked on top of it, to produce a tick of UU matter. I then use uh, universal fluid cells, which fill up and will create one, uh, say for example, this will be a universal fluid cell of UU matter. It'll be like purplish. Um, pretty much from there, that that's UU matter. You have one, you're one step closer to replication. So once you do that, and you have everything set up to make this thing just get pumped full of power and produce UU matter, you're gonna want to go over to now your to your replicator and to your pattern storage and scanner. So the first thing you got to do is scan the item that you want to replicate. Uh, I'm doing iridium shards uh, because right now I'm still producing iridium ore. And they're kind of they're actually a little bit more inexpensive to make, but that's what I'm making because I want to make quantum suit armor. So first you go to your scanner and you're gonna take your iridium shard and you're gonna put it to where it needs to be scanned. I already have it scanned, so it's gonna give me an error, but for you it'll start scanning and it'll look like this. It'll start scanning across and one and two and so on and so forth for uh, the progress. Um, once it's done, at the bottom here it'll say save pattern or save. You just click that and then you come over to your pattern storage. And now as long as they're all connected together like this, it'll work just like how I'm showing you. So then this will be empty though, you won't see anything. It'll probably say zero out of one, not one out of one possibly. But it'll be empty and you're going to want to click next pattern and then this will pop up. And it'll say iridium shard or iridium or how much UU matter it's going to cost and the amount of energy it's going to take. It's going to take no energy, just the UU matter. So then you're going to go over to your replicator and you're going to put your, you know, iridium shard, uh, Actually, no, I take that back. You're not going to put your iridium shard out there because that's going to be your pattern. So all you got to do is, this is going to be empty here. Uh, you're going to click next pattern and this will pop up. So then, say this is, yet again, our UU matter fluid cell. You put it in the top here and it'll fill up this tank. And then you either click single run or repeat run. I have it on repeat run because I want it to build as uh, much iridium shards as possible. So then from there, you're probably going to know how to make iridium ore. So then you take your nine, it takes nine iridium shards to make one iridium ore. And then boom, you have yourself iridium ore, and you can start producing whatever you want. Um, this will replicate anything that your mod pack has, pretty much. It'll replicate nuclear weapons, plutonium, uranium, ores, diamonds, whatever you want it to replicate. I don't think it can replicate exact tools or whatever, if you have certain like tools. But I know it can replicate a lot of stuff that is very useful. But honestly, other than that, it's very, it's pretty much that simple to do it. It's just very time-consuming. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you guys later.